Hi there, I'm on my way home from Spain and taking the slow train into the Pyrenees where I'll catch a night train to Paris. Last time we stopped off in Bic to see this guy's mural masterpiece. Now let's grab some grub and head for the hills. I'm getting off at the second to last stop of Puig Serda. A little funicular railway takes you up the hill or Puig in Catalan to the town which is the historic capital of Cerdanya, or Cerda. Hmm. And on the way up, we can get an idea of why this place has been a popular getaway for people who want to ski in the winter, bike and hike in the summer, or maybe just have a wander and recuperate from the bustle of Barca, and spend an hour or two hunting out the places where the Angels game was set. Now, we could head back to the station and take the next train over the border into France, or we could walk the last part along a path known as the Smuggler's Route. And what made this place so good for smuggling? Well, it's probably the same reason. There's a bobbly bit here. The exclave of Yivia is proof you should always read the small print. When Louis XIV signed the Treaty of the Pyrenees, dividing Satania in two, he thought he was getting all the villages above this line. And he did, because although little Yivia was smaller than a Spanish princess's dress, it was still technically a town. Don't know why he's looking so pleased with himself. But putting a difficult to manage border right through the middle of a previously united place proved to be a smuggler's charter. Who'd have thought it? But luckily all that's in the past and there are no obstacles to free movement. Huh, hang on a minute. Huh, looks like we're in France. Time to have a rest and take in some views. And muse on the stories we can tell about walking from Spain to France across the Pyrenees. And then it's just a short stroll to the village of Envech, where we can see what the locals wake up to every morning. And then on to the station, where we can pat ourselves on the back, or in the backpack, before catching the couchette to Paris. I hope you've liked this little wander through Sedania. If you'd like some more information, I've left some details in the description. Cheerio!